was good. So, I think it's been about a week since I put out a video. Um, but, this is the official video for this more right here. Okay? So, this right here is a Tiger Cub 48 inch scad. Okay? It has, uh, it has a velocity deck, which is mwah, mint the best one one of the best decks on the market like hands down the best and i am ex actually excited to put this more to the test to uh mow some yards with it this is my backup more right here i um i got it for free from my uncle who passed away last year rest in peace he had a heart condition and his heart pretty much just gave out so but uh yeah rest in peace my uncle Gave it to him for free. It was sitting in his garage for years, pretty much on end on for years. And he was like, "Hey, if he said I just want to give it to the right person that's gonna put it to work and gonna take care of it." I was like, "Oh, you, I'm your guy. <laughs> like I'm your guy. You, like I'm gonna definitely take care of this more." And I just picked it up back from the shop. And uh, what was going on? I think. There was, we, I took it to the shop the first time and we thought we fixed the problem, but come to find out it was, it was another problem. So first I, what I did was I got new spindles for it because one of them was, uh, was just gone. It was gone. The metal, the bearing on the inside the spindle was shredded because I think maybe it hit a big rock or something, but I got a new spindle for that. And my mechanic, he fixed that. And then um, we thought we was all Gucci and everything. But once I got it back to the house, it wouldn't start. Like, it wouldn't start at all. So I was like, okay, what's going on? Has a new battery. Has I changed the oil on it because it definitely needed oil change, like, bad. It, it needed oil change because I'm pretty sure my uncle probably didn't do an oil change on it. So I did a fresh, fresh oil change. It has a... Uh, this more has 952 hours on it. Like, that's pretty good. Especially for these year, I think they stopped making these. I don't, I don't know when. I think it was like early 2000, I think. Yeah, I think it was like early 2000 when they stopped making these. But, um, yeah, so got, uh, what's it? Has 952 hours, like I said, and then Oh, that's my backtrack. I did a fresh oil change. It wouldn't come on still. So I'm like, what's going on? And so I took it out to him. And then come to find out, there's electric problems. And then I just picked it up today. He found out. He told me that um, it was the alternators. And I don't know. <laughs> Mowers had alternators. Like, and they had two of them. I guess it's like a certain, like, really small, small things. And... He said one was going out, and he said most likely the second one was going out right behind it because they always do. So he said they changed that, changed both of them out, and he said it starts right up, no problems at all, and it does. So I just, I just literally uh, uh, drove it in here, parked it, everything. Now uh, I do have to get new front front tires for it. Like as you can see, like right here, I gotta get new front tires for it because um, it uh, they go they run a flat and I think there's holes in both of them. So uh, I'm gonna get them off Facebook Market. I already got a uh, person saved who already has pretty much tires set for that. That's gonna be easy change. I can do that myself. But other than that, yeah, and I believe I'm gonna get new blades for it. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna take this flap off and I'm gonna get a uh, Ballard uh, shoe blocker for it. And then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna give y'all, give y'all a walk around of the mower. So, but yeah, this is, this is the orange fella, the cub, the new member to the family. I'm excited to uh, use this thing. So 
So like I told you earlier, it's a Velocity deck. It's easy access. So if you can see that this spindle right here is the one I had to, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this one I had to change. It actually has a big tire for a 48 inch, like this bro. It does, it is strapped to a Britain Stratton motor. This is the aftermarket motor. Uh, 27 horsepower, so this is actually a lot for a 48 inch, for a 48 inch more, which um, it actually has more power than uh, the Hulk right here. This is the, you know, 23 horsepower Kawasaki. So, but uh, it also, also has two gas tanks right here, right here, right now. Right now it's running off the, uh, I believe the left one. Yep, the left fuel, fuel tank. So, but the uh, the hydro is good. The pretty much everything is good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a first cut with it. Not to I'm. I don't know when I'm gonna do a first cut with it because I want to make sure I want to put it on the right yards. <laughs> Um, because I got a lot of, I got a lot of yards that have heels and gates. So, like, some of the gates are a little bit smaller than the 48 inch. Some of them actually perfect for 48 inch. So, you know, I'll find out and see. But, yeah, I'm going to definitely put it to use this season. I'm going to definitely put it to use during um, leaf season. Like, I really, really want to put it to use this leaf season. Because I know for a fact, uh, zero turns are way better use during uh, leaf season than stand on mowers. Like I and I think it's the weight of the oh this mower is oh and this mower is very heavy, very I can feel it while I'm driving. So, but I know zero turns are way better to use during leaf season, and I'm want to uh, put it to test. Like I know they are. All that loud noise, <laughs> big old truck. But yeah, you know, it's uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, now the uh, blades, they have mulching blades on here, so I'm gonna get new blades for that. I'm gonna get mulching and high lift blades for this, most likely from Ballard or my uh mechanic. He also sells uh, blades, so. And I don't know, uh, sorry for the wind. Have you heard of uh, Stins? I think Stins Blades. They do blades maintenance kits and everything. So I might have to check them out, see how I like them. He said they're pretty much the same. Well, my bad, <laughs> it's a big old B. <laughs> uh, he said they're pretty much the same as or, uh, organ blades. So I don't know. I'm just see, test, test them out. I might have, I'm gonna call them up. See if he can order me some for uh, pretty much all of them. The 52, the 36, and the 48. Now, if you didn't know, the 52 and the 36, they take the same length, same size blades, which is perfect. But then, <laughs> 52, they take three blades, 36 take two blades, and then you have it. If you order six, you have an extra set. So, you know, that's why I got like, there's always gonna be like one that's just like hanging around. But, and that's my, the Texas range. Oh, okay. But yeah, one is always gonna be hanging around. So, but uh, yeah. So, that's the, you know, that's the, this is the new mower. New mower to the channel, okay? You will be seeing a lot of this mower. And I'm uh sorry, that's uh one of the local uh local lawn care companies. They do a lot of tree and fertilization. So but uh yeah I'm excited to you know put it to use. I'm excited to have it to my fleet. This is being mower number six. Um yeah, mower number six. Let's see, one, two, three four five six yeah no more number six and 
It's a good, it's, this is a great backup more, a great backup more. So, and you know, I tell everybody that asked me, hey, how many, pretty much, I mean, how many more you should have in your fleet? You should all, me personally, you should have a backup for a backup, okay? So like, I had these 236, for example. This one and that one to stand on. Now, this one, the John Deere GS30, this is my oldest, uh, this is my first commercial mower, okay? It's old as me, it's, I'm 26, and this is 26 years old. And it cuts like a beast, hands down. I don't care what anybody say. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's a great mower, okay? I only had a problem with it one time, and that was my fault, all right? I wasn't at the point to where I was disciplined enough to maintenance the mower, all right? I wasn't doing, uh, what's that? I wasn't doing regular oil changes and everything, like, so a bearing went out on there, and, you know, I was like, hey, go ahead and fix it, because I need it, <laughs> so got it fixed. And after that, I took care of it ever since. Do a regular oil changes. I do it since it's older. I do oil changes about every two months. So about every other month. And yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm uh, show y'all me riding around and everything. I'm gonna do a startup too. So yeah.